Is everybody here? Yes, teacher. Susie Spiro. Here, teacher. Birdie Birdbrain. Here, teacher. The Canary Sisters. Here, here, here. Penelope Pinfeather. <laughs> Today's lesson will be about something we really can't do without. About food? <laughs> no. Uh, uh, about something everybody loves. Uh, uh, money? No. Uh, the, the subject... Uh, ah, yes. The subject for today is melody. A malady? Uh, like when you get sick? No. M-E-L-O-D-Y, melody. The subject for today will be a melody. Gosh, teacher, what is a melody? Now, if you take a few notes, say two, or three, or four, you can always add more. And pupils, what have you got? What have you got? You got a melody. Right. Now, let us fly to nature and lend an ear to the multitude of musical sounds we hear. I don't hear nothing. Gosh, that's better. When the robin chirps in the warm spring weather. And the cricket rubs his wings together. When, when the wind blows free through the willow tree. Father Nature's busy making melody. Oh, the bird and the cricket and the willow tree. Yes, the bird and the cricket and the willow tree. Oh, you don't need a ticket for the concert in the thicket from the birdie and the cricket and the willow tree. The willow tree? The bird and the cricket and the weeping willow tree. Now, of all the creatures on this earth, only two species can sing. Us uh, birds and this animal called Homo sapiens. Homer sapiens? Man to you. You see? <laughs> he even makes melody when he talks. Why, what do you mean? <laughs> well, what do you know about that? And the female of the species is even more musical than the male. Here we have an example of a few or overlapping melodies. Listen, Mabel, I've got the real dirt on this dirt, and you know who you won't Listen believe it. Listen, Besides, you laugh yourself to death, but I knew I could listen to myself. You know who you won't believe it. Listen, Besides, you laugh yourself to death, but I knew I could listen to myself. We have here a chart. Quiet! Quiet! Now, we have here a chart. We have... Now, we have here a chart which will clearly demonstrate how our lives are lived from A to Z, step by step, to a melody. We are born. We are born! We go to school. Oh, how happy I will be when I've learned my A, B, C. Higher education. Mating season. Drink to me only with thine eyes. Be merry. Here comes the bride. And there goes the groom. The prime of life. We begin to resent our birthdays. That first gray hair. We are beginning to slow down. We are about finished. Golden 
Next, we'll discuss inspiration. I want each one of you to draw me a picture of something we make melodies about. Mm, uh, Susie Sparrow? Take a lemon drop moon in the marshmallow sky. Take a candy cane kid with a gleam in his eye. When in walks a dream from heaven above, then a song fills his heart and he sings of love. Love, 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 love. Penelope Pinfeather, recite your piece. For the song we sing to you. A life on the ocean wave, a home on the rolling deep. Here's another one. Oh, the old iron horse went a chugging along, chugging along, chugging along. Oh, hammered the rails with a bucket full of nails, singing the railroad song. Don't forget cowboys. Get along, get along, get along. With the car, yeah, yippee, and the yippee, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, bury me not on the lone prairie. <laughs> Are there any more? We sing about the moon. We sing about the rain. We sing about steamboats. And we sing about planes. We sing about beauty. But the fact remains that we never... Now we never ever sing about brains. Now, students, in conclusion, I wish to point out that beautiful symphonies are often created from simple melodies like the bird and the cricket and the willow tree.